Hey, what's going on? It's Anthok here, and uh, I'm going to be checking out Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Quest Pro. Uh, I will go over my settings once I'm in game. Uh, I did reduce some of the stuff. I am using a 4070 Ti for this, along with a Intel 9600K non overclocked, just a stock 9600K. Um, I had to completely reset my computer, and I've actually moved upstairs to like more of a I guess a nicer space um, but I do have all of my sim stuff over that way and I am going to check out Microsoft Flight Sim with the Quest Pro I will be using Air Link typically I use virtual desktop but everything I've read about um, Microsoft Flight Sim is kind of saying hey use Air Link or use a wired connection over virtual desktop I don't even know if you can run flight sim through virtual desktop i don't know if it's possible because i think it needs open xr and from my understanding a virtual desktop only runs through steam vr i might be wrong about that um but i did try to just click on virtual desktop and just try running it and it totally didn't work but i think i may have forced open xr to be the um the format for it to run with and then it just didn't work for that reason so don't mark my words on that. I will be using Oculus Link. Just to let you know what I'm using. I've tried Virtual Desktop and it didn't work. You might be able to get it to work. Um, but I will go over some other settings. Uh, I'm trying to get eye tracking to work with the Quest Pro. Um, I do have developer mode on my PC for the Oculus um, you know, tools. I don't know if it's on my Quest Pro though. It used to be on my Quest 2. I had developer mode turned on. I just may have not done it on my Quest Pro, so I don't know if it's bringing that eye tracking data over. I do have the OpenXR toolkit and all that stuff on my PC, and I have things turned on like the eye tracking through the Oculus software. I just think I have to do something within the Quest Pro to get that eye tracking to work because I think it'd be really interesting to see like what kind of frame difference is there in my 4070 Ti with something like a i5 processor, 32 gigs of RAM if you're interested, um, see how that changes the overall performance because some people online were reporting a 4090 only getting five maybe 10 extra frames which is actually quite a bit if you really think about it but they, they, they seem to not say it was worth it to do the eye tracking because you can kind of perceive the actual eye tracking when you're looking through the quest pro because the lenses are so clear across the entire um, lens because of the pancake design I mean, they said, like, don't even use eye tracking, just just render it full because you can see everything um, even out of your peripheral when looking through the lens. So, hey, that's enough jabber. Let's go ahead and jump into Microsoft Flight Sim and let's check it out using, again, the Quest Pro, Oculus Link, and a 4070 Ti with a Intel i5 9600K, not overclocked, just stock. So I will see you in Flight Sim. All right, here we are in... Uh this environment we're in oculus doing uh link i have my vr view up there and all that that's what's streaming into the, the recording software let's go ahead and launch flight simulator um now i actually have set this up so that way um it there's a button i have a hotas obviously you can't see it but i have a hotas which stands for hands-on throttle and stick if you're into flight sims you obviously know what that means um and i have a button that will trigger vr it will trigger joining the vr mode um and i'm going to go ahead and just go through some of my settings for flight sim here in a moment um I just kind of talking a little bit as this loads up um I, some people might be curious to see how long does it take to actually load up with a 3070 and a 9600k so okay here we are i will leave this in unedited the time it takes to load flight sim i'm going to see if i can also just capture the actual flight sim by going to game capture and then doing uh, flight sim specifically. And that way it'll look better for you. There we go. That should bring it up there. Make it look a little better for you. It is capturing in kind of a weird um, aspect ratio, but hey, we'll, we'll just leave it like that. And that way you can actually see it directly. So you don't have to see me bobbing my head around. You can still see it probably in the bottom corner there. I'm bobbing my head. Um, but let's go ahead and get this uh, loaded up here and I can show you my VR settings and uh, one other thing I will mention in my oculus uh, settings I have set the headset for 80 uh, frames per second 80 frames per second 80 Hertz mode um, I don't want to go into 90 yet I want to see how well 80 uh, is done 
if I go into options here and I go into oops, uh, general office and look at the VR, specifically VR, there's a whole separate tab for the graphics of VR. I turned off anti-aliasing, render scale is at 80%, reprojection is off. I believe that's handled through um, my NVIDIA control panel settings. I, I'm on three for NVIDIA control panel, if you know what that means. Otherwise, leave a comment if you're unsure. Uh, world scale is at 100, other things are unchanged. Uh, level of terrain, did I just change that? I may have just changed that. Let me go ahead and hit escape and go back here. Um, discard those changes. I think I accidentally clicked on it by swiping. Um, so I gotta be careful here. Yeah, level of detail is 50 on the terrain. Um, you can kind of see here, we got low, low, medium, high for trees, low for grass and, bush, for grass and bushes, um, 50 for level of detail on objects, um, ultra for the texture resolution. This is a very similar to what someone else has posted, so you might have seen similar settings online. I'm pretty much using that as a baseline for me to start from, um, but you're going to see that this actually runs pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and go to home and we'll go to fly. And I'm actually going to turn off this Microsoft Flight Sim once we are in the cockpit and once we go into VR mode so you can see what the VR looks like. Um, I have not been doing this for long, uh, Flight Sim. I've been using VR and I've been doing simulators for like race cars and truck simulators for a long time in VR. Um, but flight, I've always been interested in, but I don't. I, did, I never considered myself to have a graphics card that was good enough um, to even try Microsoft Flight Sim. So, here I am trying it out, and hopefully it works well. Um, it has worked well. Alpha Sierra, X -ray Golf, Sierra Alpha. It's worked well so far for me. Right, and I hope it works well while recording. To the south. Or we can go back to this uh, right of fly, and you're going to see now it's going to switch into VR mode with my uh, button switch here. There we go. And one quick thing, if you didn't know, you can hit the X button on the left controller, you should be able to see this left controller here, you can hit the X button, it will center your view in VR, that's default, instead of the space bar. Um, okay, and if you see where you're getting 39, 39 frames per second while looking around, I do not think we're doing foveated rendering. It's possible, it's possible we are. All right, and we are going to disengage the brake. And we're gonna take off here. Uh, is there a way for me to take off, to turn off all these hints? There might be. Um, I should not have done nighttime. Nighttime, I think, gives us a little bit of a different uh, feel than daytime. I don't know if it's rendering as much with nighttime as well. Let's have all the stars to render them. Let's go ahead and take off here. And here we go, we are airborne. Very nice. Things are running really well. This is definitely more choppy than with uh, non-recording. So me recording this right now is having an effect. I was getting previously, um, you know, pretty nice frame rates actually. I think somewhere around 60. So recording is definitely doing quite a bit of a hit That's on my uh, frames here. Yeah, here I'm only getting 41 Tower now. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha. Continue for South departure. Everything in here looks really crisp, looks really nice. And I will go into external view here. Kind of zoom around and see. Things are looking really slick. Uh, and it's working well, so let me go ahead and try to... Flaps are up, see if I can tilt this up. Whoa, there we go, just so we keep climbing. There we go. There's some, some settings I'm still kind of getting used to. There's like this little uh, modifier that I can use. Um, if I move this it's nicer to have like over to the don't side sink, not directly in my sink, don't view sink, don't sink, don't oh, there we go sink, don't so sink, it's saying don't, don't sink, sink don't sink there we go <laughs> i uh i think i hit a button as i grab my controller um but you can see it's running running really well obviously if it wasn't recording it would be i think it would be don't a bit better sink, yeah there it is i don't know it's been a pretty enjoyable experience so far on the quest pro I can't say that I do have eye tracking enabled or not. Um, I looked for the developer mode in the headset and it is on. So I'm not quite sure what else I need to do to make sure that eye tracking is working with Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, but yeah, there we go. Just showing you that 
it does work pretty well with a 4070 Ti and a Quest Pro over AirLink. This is all totally wireless and it's a enjoyable experience. I think I could probably turn a couple things up. It could be a little more graphically detailed um, because a lot of the settings are pretty low in my uh, settings for this. Gliding is something else. You got this really cool music going on with it. Let's switch out and we can see our glider. Look at that, super light. And I, I am actually having internet connection issues. Uh, just the last two weeks I've been having like cutouts, cut in, cut out. But wow, this is beautiful. I wonder if we're supposed to land or just experience this and try to like soar off these different bits of wind here. Should I try to land this down in a field? Airport way over there that I don't think I'll be able to get to. Shadow. It's getting mad at me now. I try to bring it down over here. Let's see. Do it. We'll bring out the landing gear. There's my little my little wheel. I don't have any sort of flaps, or at least I don't know how to control them. Try to kill off a lot of our speed here. Which I don't know if we can, being a glider without flaps. Oh, I'm gonna go over the building. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right by it. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. This is the field. Okay, there we go, there we go. Pulling the brakes. There's our, there's our like flaps to stop. Oh, we're still cruising. Oh, I crashed. Oh, I was going so fast for so long. But that was really neat. That was really neat. That was a nice flight, even though I did critical damage to it. That was pretty sweet. But yeah, Microsoft Flight Sim, I've been having a blast with it. I've been playing it pretty much during nap time. I got a baby monitor right there. Um, pretty much during nap time for the baby, I've been playing Flight Sim, and then at nights, I've been playing as well. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.